Welcome back. Here we go again for another week. We are currently sat on Tuesday. We are two days into the seven days and I have got nothing done. I've had a very busy weekend with selling at the car boot sale. If you haven't seen that video yet, please do go check it out at the end of this video. I'll link it at the end. It was mayhem and you'll understand why I'm a day behind on my life. We've got a few sales going out today. Not too many. I haven't been too active with my stores at the moment. Like I said, I've been busy. So we've got to get those sales out today and then I'm going to start pumping the stores again. Make of that as you will. I think we'll start first over on Vinted, actually. Because I can! Part of the big hat collection bundle, which I am going to start listing on as well. I've got about another 90 hats to list, and they are going to get on this week. Yeah, they're going to get started this week. I don't want to lie to you guys. Boeing hat, really nice. Paid a pound from this from a car boot sale, sold for five pounds. These are all on Vinted, by the way. So we're currently fee free. I've had a sale now, and I really hope these have gone to the person that wanted them. I had a message when I first picked these up saying, list them for X amount and I will buy them. So I did, and I really hope it's you because I can't remember who it was that message. I paid £5 for these when I walked into the charity shop to go and make that donation for the monitor screen. So I wasn't really there to buy, but I thought I had to get something. And I bought these for £5, sold them for £7.77. Now, some of you are going to say like you always do, but why are you selling things for £2 profit? Let me just break it down for you slightly. I picked these out of a basket. I took them home. I took four photos, put them in a box, uploaded the photos to a website by pressing a few buttons. When they sold, I've taken them out. I'm going to hold them up to the camera. I'm going to put them into a bag and then I'm going to ship them off. Handling time of these socks has been no more than 90 seconds. And for that, I was paid £2.77. Come on. Now, of course, I would change my tactic. I wouldn't pay £5 for a board game that I'm going to sell for £7.77 because I need to bring it home. I need to open it, check it, put all the pieces out, make sure everything's there, count it, spread it out. It's laborious. That isn't. And I've got two and a half quid, more than two and a half quid. So thank you so much whoever picked them up. I really hope it was you. Although you're looking at your username, I'm not 100% sure it is. But I hope it's you. Ali has picked up Dark Void for £2.30. Part of that massive bundle deal that I bought from that guy, the game. I should have bought it all, to be fair. I should have done. I've got space now. Funny how things change. I should have bought it and put it in the loft till I had space. Oh, well. Ricky D, what are you wanting? He always messages me when I'm filming. Ali is currently living in Japan, but she's sending this to her mum's address. She sent me a lovely little message and said, love from Osaka. I want to live in Japan so badly. Oh my God. I was having a conversation about, I'd love to. I'd love to. If Emma ever run off with a postman, I'm off to Japan, mate. But I don't think she's going to run off with our particular postman. Sorry if you're watching, Dave. £6.66. We've sold the Hogs of Fife Brown Gilet. Just realised the mic wasn't in the right position the whole time. Never mind. This is sold for £6.66. And Joe would like to tell Terry to hurry back from the furry party. Your dinner's in the dog's bowl and it's getting cold. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it, mate. And for £12.12, and pence, we've sold the vintage Ed Hardy t-shirt. I paid £2 for this from a charity shop, car boot sale, from a car boot sale, not a charity shop. All right? And sold it for £12.12. And, and there was a message. Thank you, Ricky, for accepting my offer. I've been following you on YouTube for a few months. I've subscribed. I love your humour. Keep up the great content, Lynn. Thank you so much, Lynn. I massively appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Stick around. There's plenty more to come. Not sales. That's it for Vinted. Moving swiftly over to eBay now. And I have sold my first pair of the Incontinence boxer shorts. I sell pants now. Paid £2.75 for these. The average price is about £16 or £17. I listed mine for £13.99. Expecting to take offers. They bought this one outright. So £2.75, I think they were. Did I say? I think, I think they're £2.75. I wouldn't have paid more than that. Into £13.99. £8 all in for these TDK tapes. Going to cost me three quid to post. I paid a pound from the charity shop. Don't mind that. Not ideal, but I don't mind it. I've got a lot of stuff that I've been clearing. Philips Lady Shave. This is one of the older ones. It's all been tested. It's all been cleaned to the best that I can because you know there's only so much you can clean when it comes to epilators and foil shavers. I was a barber for seven years. I'm very aware. It's hard. But sold it for £15. I had to remove it and then re-upload it and rejig it and take another picture of the foil head and then upload it again and then it sold. Had this listed for about six months. After I did that, lasted two weeks. Rejig your items. And the one and only Steve, a.k.a. Fat Punk, has picked up the tailor-made sim visor. Sold this one for £17.99. So, of course, I've got to pay for postage, knock that off. And I've got to pay for cost, which was £3.75, Steve, I think. 
and I do have some cards that I want to add to his pile. But since the car boots out, I don't know what I've done with them, Steve. So you saw my message on the video if you've seen it. If I find them before the postage, I will do that for you. I'm not too sure I'm going to find them. I was looking yesterday. There was only two places they could be, and they're not in them places. So I really hope I find them for you, Steve. But if not, I really appreciate your business, mate. You and Melly, both cracking people, big supporters of the channel. I love you both. And that is all for the sales. I love the fact I can just relax on this chair. In fact, let me tell you a little bit about it. You know that I had to get a new chair. So this video is in fact today sponsored by FlexiSpot. Run the VT video tip. It's absolutely time that I got rid of this horrible old stool for working on and bring in something special. FlexiSpot decided to hook me up with another chair, one to match the table. Bosh, there we go, that was nice and simple. To be honest, the assembly is so, so easy. Just look at that. With a load capacity of 136 kilos, it has no trouble holding me up. Bosh that in and lower it down. Look at that adjustment. Just going to adjust the table to match. Oh, it's so nice having matchy-matchy. Getting myself in for the optimal working space there, of course. As you can see here, it adapts to the body's natural movements and provides optimal support based on biomechanics. I'm still flexing on you with this E7 table they sent me a little while ago, so go check that out on the website as well. As you can see, I always work at different heights throughout the day, so the fact that this has a nice, quick, easy height adjust is fantastic, and obviously it matches with the table as well. I'm actually sat here doing like a tester, seeing what it's like while I'm editing, and the height is perfect. Some of the chairs I've found can be quite low, whereas I'm like Goldilocks and this one's just right. Just check out that adjust. Look at that setup. What a combo. Just giving everything one final test just to make sure I'm happy with that adjustment, and it is. So I've got my small, my medium, and my large height range, and everything's perfect. Let's just give it the full proper test. I've got to be able to put this down right, stick my feet on that table, lean back, get comfy, and have a nap. Let's adjust the headspace. Oh, look at that adjustable headrest. Beautiful. I'm a man who can't be touched today. <sighs> what do you want? Go away, go away. Before we get back to it, let's take a very quick look at the chair. The back is perfect shape and ventilated. Stop me getting all sweaty and horrible. The seat is nice and cushioned. Trust me, my buttocks has never felt so good. Look at this special waterfall shape. It relieves pressure on the legs and improves blood circulation. And that's one of the main things that bothers me about sitting down for so long. With adjustable seat depth for individuals of various body types to avoid the compromise of circulation in the legs, as mentioned before, as well as reducing the pressure in the buttocks and thigh muscles. Yes, I need to vacuum, but as you can see here, it's on casted wheels, so it's easy to move the chair around. Adjustable headrest for if you're in working or if you're in nap mode. I'm having to do this with one hand, but it's still very, very easy to do. But let's get into it. FlexiSpot are actually doing a Black Friday sale promotion. There is a tiered discount where you can win up to 50% off an E7 Pro and a BS12 Pro. All you've got to do is check out the links down below. And let's keep it gamified. We can actually follow along on this lovely little chart here for the promotions going through Black Friday. Thank you, FlexiSpot. Cheers. So massive shout out to FlexiSpot there. Really appreciate that. My job today is actually now to go and get some more clothing sorted for the day because I've got too much sticking around still i still haven't cleared that rail yet not fully not 100 percent some bits have had to go back on it and i've got some bags of stuff and my wardrobe upstairs is starting to get overrun so that's what i've got to do today i'm not going to bore you with that i don't think too much nah i probably won't i probably won't document that part but that's what i want to do today get that done oh let me show you actually since the car boot clear out are you ready for this for a start that's all ready to be listed look at that got some shelving back again some space ready for some bits that all just needs to be sorted out. That's all my boxes. So that needs to be listed. That needs to be listed, but I'm kind of saving it. That needs to be listed. And this needs to be listed. Just there. And that's it. So I've almost caught up on all of my death stock pile. I don't call it a death pile. No, it's not a death pile. It's a lifeline is what it is. And then um, ready for the new year. Oh, oh yeah, I've sorted out my box of Nintendo stuff. And that is it there. So it's a 60 litre tub. Laid on top with consoles, and the rest of it is charging leads, controllers, all that kind of stuff. So I'm ready to start making some Christmas Wii bundles. Christmas Wii bundles? That sounds a bit weird. But yeah, we've done all right. That, moving all that stuff at the car boot sale with a mindset of everything must go is what I needed. A lot of people in the comment section saying to me, you sold that too cheap, you sold that too cheap. I didn't. They got a fantastic deal. I actually still made some money, and I made some space. I don't look at items like the people in the comments who are obviously saying, you sold it too cheap, you're an idiot, you should have put it on here, you should have put it on there. We don't work the same, we don't think the same. 
I don't think the same as Tesco when it comes to clearance because some of their stuff, I'm like, you're mental. I could sell that for whatever else. They don't think like that. I don't think like that. Everybody thinks different. I see it as an item, an item that's been sat there for many, many months. The money is now dead and it's doing nothing for me because I, for one reason or another, I haven't got around to listing it, whether it's because it needed testing, it needed cleaning, it's got a slight fault, it's got a flaw, any issues with it at all that would put me off from listing it into the car boot box after a while and it goes to the car boot sale, somebody else can deal with it, somebody else can make their money, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with the space, I'm happy with the money that I made, 200 and something pound, obviously there was a cost of the goods and stuff but a lot of that stuff I've already made my money on, like them phones for example, I was able to take those two because they're not massive value on eBay so they do sit around for a little bit long because the sell through rate isn't that great on those two that I had and I've already made my money off that massive bundle. Still got two phones over there from the same bundle, which do sell for good money and the sell-through rate is good. So I move those two on. That's my mindset. That's how I like to think about stuff and it works for me. So in this world, in this eBay, reseller, vintage, YouTube, Amazon, whatever it is that you do, work to the way that suits you and your needs. There's always going to be somebody that says, well, you could have got or you should have done, but they're not you. You are you. So work how you want to. Now, if you do want to see that video that I was talking about where I said I sold all that stuff really cheap, check out this video here. It's about an hour long. It's in 4K. There's plenty of action. I think you'll enjoy it. Tell me what you think. Did I sell it all too cheap?